And then there was a show where they came to Madison with Maynard Ferguson, and uh, I was in a band that our saxophone professor, Les Thinning, was the leader of, and we were the opening act on that show, and so that was a pretty exciting night. Um, because he played with Buddy Rich, he hurts me, this guy. Last time I was here, it was the back of the bus suite. If you know that one, you know that it's just a house of pain for a drummer, unless you're Buddy Rich. It's very humbling to try to play some of the things that were written for him because he was truly such a virtuoso. Uh, the Channel One Suite is no exception. When he told me that he wanted me to play that with the band, I said, nah, <laughs> no thank you. No thank you, that's, that's gonna be way too much work and not sound good for all the effort. And then he put it all on you. He said, oh, the kids in the band really wanna play it. They really wanna play it with you. Which of course we know is a bunch of BS, right? He's just talking to me and telling me whatever because he wants to hurt me. <laughs> so, uh, tonight I'm gonna get him back. Tonight I'm gonna get him back. Uh, uh, just one quick thing before I forget this. Uh, today's my father's birthday. He passed away 10 years ago, and he would have been 92 today, and so I just wanna dedicate my performance to my father, Bruno, who's out there in the cosmos, and uh, Dad, thanks for uh, spending the money on the lessons. Hope you're with how it turned out. And then I would like to honor uh, another great drummer. Uh, it's funny, these, these beautiful young people don't really know, but I asked them, I said, does anybody know the name Ed Shaughnessy? Does anybody out there know the name Ed Shaughnessy? Yeah? With a brave soul in the dark, tell us who Ed Shaughnessy was. What was his occupation? Play drums. Yes, but the Tonight Show's been around for a long time, so who was the band leader? when Ed Shaughnessy was the drummer on The Tonight Show? Doc Severson. Doc Severson, that's right. I have to play a Buddy Rich tune, he's gotta play a Doc Severson tune. <laughs> you see how this works? Uh, when I was in high school, I had the great privilege of performing with Ed my senior year of high school. He came in as a guest artist, uh, much, I guess like this is, but much cooler because he was at Shaughnessy and he was on national TV. I mean, me, I, I'll be driving home tomorrow. You know. uh, uh, but it worked out really great. We had a great time, and uh, he found something in me that he liked, and we were lifelong friends up until he passed away just a couple of years ago. He would often come to my home, the Twin Cities, uh, to play with Doc, because Doc was the pops conductor of the Minnesota Orchestra for many years, concurrent with his tenure as the conductor of the NBC Orchestra on The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, and Ed would always come with him. So my teachers knew Ed, they introduced me to Ed. Uh, that was before we played, then we played. Then when I moved to Los Angeles, I took lessons from a great drummer named Jeff Hamilton, who some of you might be familiar with. 
Uh, when my lessons were over, it was time for Ed to pick up Jeff, and they'd go play tennis before Ed would take the Tonight Show, so I would see Ed over at Jeff's house. And that was always a gas, too. Anyway, uh, sometimes I would tech for Ed, which means I'd set up his drums and take them down for him. Ludwig would send them up from Chicago, and he would play in Minneapolis, and he'd give us a chance to hang. He would pay me amply, just so that he didn't have to bother with it. So, uh, in 2011, I got a phone call from him, and I knew Doc and the big band were coming to orchestra hall. And uh, I used to love the way he would uh, answer, or when I would answer the phone, he'd say, hey kid, it's Shaughnessy, how you doing? And he said, hey Ed. And I, I knew he was coming to town. He says, I got a job for you. And I said, yeah, I know, I saw the date. He says, no, 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 no. He says, I don't want you to tech for me. He says, I want you to play the show with Doc. I can't make it. I have a hip surgery. And so he believed in me enough after all those years to have me take his chair, which was, uh, you know, humbling and a bit intimidating at first because, you know, I had three things in mind, you know, make Doc happy, make Doc happy, and make Doc happy. Um, there was also make Ed happy and don't look like a fool doing it, you know. Anyway, it worked out really great. And uh, it wasn't that long after that that Ed for unfortunately passed away. He never played with Doc again. So it was a great honor for me to be his substitute. And I miss him and he was wonderful to me. And so for us tonight, we're going to play an arrangement that is a beautiful feature for Grant in Doc's place and something I hope I do justice to in Ed's place. It's a song many of you may know, but may not have heard like this before. It's called Stardust. Thank you for coming. Stand on, Dave. <laughs> Tina, is that bass okay? Or Alex? I heard a voice. Is that yes? Yeah. Sounds good to you? Yeah. Can you put it in the monitor. The bass keeps coming in and out. We love the way Ivana plays that bass. We cannot play without it. 